And another refraction question, grade 11 physics, question 41 from your, uh, your workbook. In a certain substance, substance light travels 3.15 meters. It does this in 16.5 ns. That's nanoseconds. Nano meaning billionth, 10 to the negative 9. What is the critical angle of that substance if light travels from that substance into ethyl alcohol? So one thing for sure is that if we're trying to find critical angle, the index refraction of this material has to be greater than that of ethyl alcohol because we're trying to find a critical angle. For a critical angle calculation, what light is in has to be slower than the light's traveling into. So the index refraction has to be greater, or they work opposites. So index refraction for that ethyl alcohol, 1.362. That's from your handbook. And that's at the refractive medium. Now, at first, it doesn't seem like it's obvious how to calculate that. We're trying to figure out what the critical angle is. The only place we've seen critical angle calculated is within Snell's law. So that's a starting point. We need to get to Snell's law somehow. Well, look at what we're given. We're given some distance, and we're given time. Well, with the distance traveled in a specific amount of time, that leads to velocity. Now think what that is. That is a velocity of light in a material. Well, if I know the velocity of light in a material, I, there's a calculation where I can figure out the index of refraction. Once I know the index of refraction, I can use Snell's law to figure out the critical angle. So there's where Snell's law comes in. So a few steps, and be careful if you make a mistake right off the bat, those, those incorrect numbers will carry through right out to the end. And so by the time you get to the end, your sine function might not work right, and it might be hard to uh, figure out where you went wrong. So be careful as we go through this. So the first thing we'll do, get the velocity is distance over time. Okay, so it's an average velocity. Don't worry about direction or anything like that. It's just a straight distance of 3.15 meters divided by 16.5 nanoseconds. So I'm just going to rewrite that nanoseconds as seconds. Now don't put the decimal between the 1 and the 6. The problem says 16.5. Leave it that. Replace the end with times 10 to the negative 9. And that gives us our velocity to be 1.91 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we know velocity. Now we can go ahead and calculate our index for fraction. In a perfect vacuum, taking that to be 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, or 1.91 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. It's an 8. Let me make that a little more clear. So 3 exponent 10 to the 8 divided by that, 1.57, which is good. That is greater than the index refraction of the alcohol, which is 1.362. So the critical angle can be calculated without breaking math, which we do quite often around here in physics anyway. Let's so use our Snell's law. I'm going to write theta c for a critical angle index refraction of a refracted angle, of a refracted material, I should say, sine of the refracted angle. Initial material is this unknown stuff, 1.57. Critical angle is what I'm trying to figure out. It's going into ethyl alcohol. And if it's at exactly the critical angle, we take the refracted angle to be 90 degrees. So sign that is going to be on the other side, 1.362 divided by 1.57. Zero point eight six seven five. So once again, I'll say that again. Sine ninety is one, so it's on the right side is one point three six two. Divide both sides by one point five seven. Doing that gives you zero point eight six seven five. Critical angle is the inverse sine of that. Write that down. I can keep four decimal places so you get something close to what I'm going to have, just to avoid confusion. And you should get around 60 degrees as your critical angle. So again, multi-step problem, good exam kind of question to make sure you know you can start with the basics of distance and time to get velocity. Realize that velocity gives you index of refraction. 
use that in conjunction with Snell's law and what critical angle means to get what the critical angle is. In this case, 60 degrees.